All right. Hey, Virgo, you guys. So we're doing a quick energy check in for you and the person that occupies your heart space, um, peeking at your person, um, spying on them, however you want to call it. This is going to be more in regards to the person on your mindset, your heart space and all that good stuff. So you guys, I'm, I'm going to pull the mutual energy and feelings and that's how you're going to resonate with this read. So things that have been ex uh, said, exchanged, done, felt, um, on both accounts. If you don't resonate with what I pull here, you guys check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome you guys. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. All right. So I'm just going to pull the mutual energy and feelings for you. And this person on your mind. Wow, look at that. We are we got all kinds of soulmate energy right here coming through. I feel like it's like uh, holding space for each other. Um, this could be something new. It doesn't have to be. It could be a new reconciliation. It could be, um, you know, a, a new spin on an old dynamic. Um, that's just kind of what I see here. Okay, so we have this um, soulmate, 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 soulmate. That could have been said. That could have been expressed. That could have been felt. Um you know, and I say that because we have this, uh, this right here is a counterpart, all right? Divine feminine energy d with no emphasis on male or female. Okay. But what I see right here is there's definitely, um, I feel like it's just holding space straight. I don't even feel like there's, um, a one-sided dynamic that might be something that has been felt. Um, but I'm going to tell you, it is not something that is felt with this mutual energy. Okay. Um, somebody could just lack expression. Somebody could lack, all right. Um, you know, pouring in, like, look, you got this page and then you have this empress and it could just be that, oh, this, you know, the page energy is just coming through as I, they don't talk, they don't speak, they don't acknowledge their feelings, emotions, you know, all that good stuff. They, they don't acknowledge it. It's like an unacknowledged situation. Okay. But it, it's there and it's, it's felt though, even if they do not acknowledge it, it could be the two that if you have like this really, um, phenomenal dynamic between you and this person, that your your friends or family or whoever it is that you've uh, spoken to about this person, that they, they will come through and say, oh, well, you know, the, the energy is just not matched. It's not there because, you know, they're only coming in and offering this, that and the other um, breadcrumbing. Um, and I don't even feel like it's breadcrumbing at this point. It could just be that this person, um, they don't know what to say, how to say it, and they don't know expression. Okay. But um, there's just, it, it doesn't matter. I feel like the communication and the expression, it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be um, uh, uh, parlayed through a, you know, a, a, what are, what are the, the things with the, and you press it and it's like really loud. I don't know what it's called, um, but it's almost like that, you know, and opposite of what I'm saying right here, it could be that sometimes maybe you feel like expressing that energy um, through one of those uh, blow horns or whatever they're called. Okay, so let's just see what this person feels about you. How does this person feel about you? Their feelings towards you. And and the wands, I mean, I swear to I, all throughout this read, the wands have been coming through. We have the devil card coming through. That could just be fear. All right, especially if, if, if it's the page versus that empress energy. There's a lot of fears that come through with that devil. And he's not a bad guy. The devil card is just our ego body. This is where we... Uh, fail to communicate. We fail to, uh, you know, talk about our feelings and emotions, um, especially if intimidation is a factor. And it could be just be that there's such a high sexual attraction between you guys. That person thinks about it a lot. Uh, I say that with the Queen of Wands coming through because the Queen of Wands, King of Wands, all the Wands energy, I, I, I just see as a sexual appeal, a sexual attraction. It's heightened, okay, when the wands show up here. And if anything, it's like I got to lock um, Virgo down before anybody else does. By the way, if you guys are dealing with the Capricorn, um, the Capricorn energy kept wanting to come through the Virgo intention when I did the meditation. Um, so that could be another clue for you guys if there is heavy Capricorn in your chart or um, with the person that you're dealing with, okay? Um, but really, it's like, I just want to move forward with this person. Like, I don't want to be single a day longer, even if they're not expressing that, um, the closed off energy comes through that page essence. Okay. Um, I don't want to push. I don't want to rush. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to take, I'm going to follow your lead. Okay. And there could be a huge age difference between you and this person. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but it could be new for this person. All right. So let's just see what's happening in this person's life right now. What is going on in this person's life as, as you know, what's, what's going on. So we have strength card coming through the strength card comes through with a lot of, um, you know, this is like building up courage. Okay. Um, the strength card is a card of resilience. Um, you know, this is like, a, it's a strong card, right? 
um, it, it's almost like um, I, I can't help but feel like uh, um, evaluating this card in comparison to, um, oh gosh, just uh, I, I, intimidation. I don't know why. I just feel like it's intimidation. Okay. Um, again, look at, we have the high priestess, we have the king of pentacles. All right. So it's not the high priestess and the emperor. It's not the high priestess and the magician, which they're all high priestess, magician, emperor, empress. They are all counterparts to one another. They're all one in the same. Okay. And it's almost like I, I can see this, but I can't see it quite yet. I can't see it fully. Okay. Um, I feel like the biggest thing that's happening in their life is this new transition with you. I feel like you're probably what they wake up and think about what they go to bed and think about. So if you guys are, are on the receiving end of those messages of, of those texts, those phone calls, um, definitely another clue that this is your read. Okay. Um, and I just kind of feel like, um, it's almost like, how am I going to get this, <laughs> this energy? How can I compare? What can I do? All right. Um, they could be, you know, focusing on work, career, and status, um, you know, to level up or to feel like they have to have that leveling up to be in comparison with you. But if anything, it's like, no, I'm going to, it's like they meet you and it's like, I'm going to become the best version of myself. Okay. Um, and, and it's for Virgo, right? There's your card. So let's just see um, if they see a future with you. Like what, what does the future hold through their eyes? What does the future hold through their eyes? Um, for Virgo, look at, mm -hmm, yep king and queen of wands showing up so those are divine counterparts there could be some heavy uh, uh fire energy that you're dealing with or you could have that in your chart um because it's coming through okay so do they see a future if anything it's more about like i i don't know what to think or feel when it comes to the future so they might not be able to see you know past what's right in front of them and it doesn't mean they can't see it it's i feel like what you're dealing with right here is somebody that's so fresh when it comes to the perspective of um union harmony happiness joy bliss and if you i'm just going to say this this is going to be for somebody very specific but if you are older and this person is quite a bit younger somebody that is like a, a, a kid's age and i'm not talking about a, a kid under 18 i'm talking about if you are in your your 40s to 50s and you got a 20 year old and this this person is in their 20s okay there could be that dynamic um but it's not that they don't want this connection it could just be more about how you are carrying the perception of that age gap stop you guys don't worry about that okay and that's not going to be for everybody that is just for somebody very very specific um, but do they see a future? It's like maybe, um, the down talk, the low talk, um, the, uh, well, people, what would people say and think and do that's going to be, um, what diminishes this person's hope to see a future. So if you are dealing with somebody who is younger, you, you got to stop, uh, just stop, stop voicing your concerns because it almost, what I want to say has nothing to do with what the future holds for you guys. Okay. Not for everybody. All right, but with but outside of that dynamic, um, this right here, I just kind of feel like blocking it out because um, I feel like that is a third party dynamic, not a human. It's a thought um, that just doesn't need to be applied to everybody. If anything, I see like, no, we can move forward. Um, yeah, you're the one I want. You're the one I can build with. Um, you got queen and king energy coming through. So yeah, why wouldn't I want it? I see this as beautiful coming from um, the perspective of this person. Okay, so let's just see if they're going to express this to you. Yeah, look at that. Here's the communication card right here. Here's the wish fulfillment if you guys were kind of going for that. And then we have this Queen of Pentacles coming through yet again because that's the kind of... Um, you know, I feel like that's the kind of offering this person is like, this, uh, yeah, Virgo deserves this. I need to communicate. And this person could actually be very openly and vividly communicative with you. And for some reason, you still, it's just not, it's not sitting with you in that way. All right. I do feel like this person is going to come through and express it. And I feel like they're going to be very explicit. And I feel like if you guys are just kind of hung up on what people will think, please stop, especially if you have feelings in the heart space for this person. Okay. So let's see what's taking place in the next 60 days for you guys. The next 60 days, what is coming through. All right. Look at that. We're letting go of anxiety and what everybody's going to think and say and do. Uh, yeah, definitely. There's going to be some courage. Look at that. This is all outsider influences. So there might not be a huge transition or transformation when it comes to this connection with the two of you physically. But I do feel like um, if you're holding, um, if you're holding on to um, the perception of outsiders, I feel like that's going to be what dissipates. You're going to go with your heart. You're going to follow your heart. Okay. Because that's what's going to matter. All right. So 
I'm going to pull some messages from this person. This could be in and out energy. It could be something new. Know that if if the, the read needs to stop here, you guys allow it to stop here for you because not every message and all of the reads that I've done applies to everybody. Uh, okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, so what do we have at the bottom? I don't want to let you go. So if you guys have already started to pull back your energy, keep that in mind. All right. I'll wait for a sign from you. I cannot help but feel like you've already started to pull your energy away from this person, Virgo. You got Scorpio energy coming through. Look at that. I will wait for a sign because I'm coming back. That's what that Six of Cups represents, okay? I hide my feelings. It's almost like this person acknowledges that you hide more of your feelings than what you should, okay? You got Taurus energy coming through, and I want to heal that. I want to heal that. Why don't you talk? Why don't you express? Um, are you sure that's how you feel? All right. And then we got, I look for you everywhere. I cannot help but feel like we kind of got both dynamics going on with the new, the old, the separation and uh, what's here and what's present. I look for you everywhere is going to be clarified with the Sagittarius energy. All right. Because you're hiding, somebody's hiding their feelings and emotions. Somebody hi is hiding their physical um, energy. Okay. Um, I don't know who this is, who that's for, but that's, that seems pretty um, pertinent to this dynamic. You guys, this is going to be a very, very specific read, and I love it, okay? Um, I love it because it's unique, and, and I know it's going to reach those who need to see it. Initials coming through this read. We have C, V, L, R, and then OK. Virgo, I'm leaving it there. You guys take care.